Lesson 7. Focus on front side bottom turn. In lessons 5 and 6 of this wave kite surfing video course, we have discussed the front side top turn. It is a highly technical, advanced wave kite surfing maneuver and it creates extreme joy for the rider. You start this maneuver ideally out of a bottom turn in front of the wave as shown in lesson 6. We have explained to you both parts of the maneuver, the bottom turn and the top turn in much detail. But there are still some more aspects which you should know about to perfect your front side bottom turns. Lesson 7 will teach you this. Lesson 8 will then focus on your front side top turn. Steering of your kite. As you know already, when you enter the bottom turn, you send your kite with one strong pull on your back hand into the other side of the wind window towards the wave. Shortly thereafter, this hand now becomes free and it can be used to touch the water to gain additional stability and balance. We will have a look at this in more detail in a moment. Ideally, you fly the kite aggressively from a low position, here on the right hand side of the wind window, right through the power zone, to a low position in the left hand side of the wind window, keeping the kite low throughout the maneuver. If you keep the kite low, you will execute your bottom turn with lots of speed and power and you will carve a beautiful round turn. Your front hand at the bar. Your front hand stays at the bar throughout the entire maneuver. As you have given the steering input already with your back hand, your front hand merely has to control the power of your kite during the maneuver. After you have initiated the bottom turn, push the bar out. This is because you are now flying your kite low directly through the power zone into the other side of the wind window. So your kite will develop a lot of power for a second or two and you can therefore push the bar out to decrease its power so you do not get pulled over. Also, remember the aerodynamics of your kite. When you push your bar out, the kite will lift its wings and will therefore fly faster to the other side of the wind window. This will support a fast and sharp bottom turn. In essence, you push the bar out while flying the kite over to the other side of the wind window to reduce the power during the turn, which you do not need or want at this stage of the bottom turn. But just as important, you push your bar out to have some power in reserve when you need it. You can then pull in the bar to further increase your speed when aiming for the following top turn. When you arrive at the wave, you send your kite back into the other side of the wind window before your top turn, away from the wave, which we will discuss in lesson 8. Your body posture. When starting your bottom turn, your body is compressed with your knees slightly bent and pressure on your heels. Now, during the bottom turn maneuver, shift your weight to put pressure onto your toes. Then, turn your head towards the wave to initiate the turn and extend your body as much as you can to carve a controlled bottom turn. This extension feels like carving your board as far away from your head as possible. It will add control because you will now get your head and body low over the water surface. 
the rapid change between body compression and body extension will look and feel dynamic and stylish. Touching or grabbing the water. When you perform your bottom turn, push your back hand onto the water surface during the turn into switch. This will have three beneficial effects. First, you gain stability through the turn because you can hold onto something with your hand. Secondly, you create a pivotal point around which you can ride your turn and therefore your turn becomes even tighter. Thirdly, should you lose the edge of your board, you can further reduce your riding speed by dragging your backhand in the water to help prevent you overtaking your kite. In this case, your kite could fly out of the wind window, your lines would become slack and your kite would fall out of the sky. This is particularly important if you carry a lot of speed and power into the bottom turn, which not only feels good and looks great, but is also the perfect preparation to enter your top turn maneuver with a lot of speed, power and energy. Summary When you enter the bottom turn, send your kite with one strong pull on your backhand into the other side of the wind window towards the wave. Fly your kite from one side of the wind window to the other right through the power zone while keeping your kite low throughout the maneuver. Push your bar out during the bottom turn and pull it back towards the end of the bottom turn to create some additional power to further increase your speed when aiming for the top turn. During the bottom turn maneuver, extend your body as much as you can and get your head and body low over the water surface. When performing your bottom turn, push your back hand onto the water surface or even grab the water.